in this course we're going to look at time spreads so time spreads are spreads where we use two different expiry series so we're going to use different months in the same option spread let's first look at a how a basic calendar works and then we look at a double calendar a time spread involves two different months so we could be looking at the June series and the July series this is also a non-directional strategy so we're looking at just the basic calendar here it starts off non-directional so you're going to start off with a delta neutral or very close to delta neutral position but depending on how the stock moves your position is going to get a positive delta or a negative delta it's a theta positive trade and it's also a Vega positive trade now this is very interesting because there does not exist any other trade in options that are both theta positive and Vega positive so if you recall I've always mentioned your battle is always going to be between theta and Vega so if you are theta positive you'll usually be Vega negative and if you're theta negative you, you'll usually be Vega positive the calendar is very unique and in fact in fact all the time spreads are because they're theta positive and Vega positive trades so you're gaining in time decay and you'll also gain if volatility increases so that's a very unique situation and once we go into part two and look at the platform we'll see how that works and why it is theta positive and why it is Vega positive at the same time let's say we're looking at the June series and the July series so you're going to sell the front month at the money strike price now it can be a call or a put it doesn't matter but you're going to sell the at the money front month option and you're going to buy the back month the back month would be the July at the same strike price so it has to be the same strike price and usually it's going to be at the money